Hello everyone, this is Christy and today I'm going to show you the third part of the cardstock mini album tutorial. Um, I already embellished the cover and I wanted to show you what I use. Um, this is one trim, I mean it's a lace that I bought at Michael's and this is from Celebrate. Um, then I use the same ribbon, the sheer ribbon, and I just fold it and I use one string for this side and another one for here. And every time I fold it, I put a dot of hot glue and press, then another dot and then press, and then I cover this one in the middle with this string. Then <clears throat> it matches right here with the ribbon the, for this for the closing. Um, of the album then I had uh, my template and I'm going to show you in another video how to make your own template okay so you can make a cut out especially for the size of your mini album so <clears throat> this one is the one that I designed and I made for both for this one and um, um, <clears throat> the Christmas album mini album so I cut one piece in cardstock and the other one was smaller and I made it in a pattern paper. Then I made this flower and I'm going to show you in this video how I made it uh, using the scraps from the paper collection and then I made these three flowers. I'm going to show you what I used and then um, these are some of the leaves that I made and you can see the tutorial how to make the leaves. I just cut them very small. And then um, this was from the paper pad cover, and they they were two, and I cut them fuzzy cut them both, and I just glue them, and I put this mini flower, and I use a small punch for this one, and then I put the antennas in here and the rhinestones, and I distress with vintage photo distress ink. So I hope you like how this one looks. I love it. So <clears throat> these are some ideas and I know that you can make your own style with um, whatever you want to embellish even if you don't have um, you don't have enough tools or something you can um, design your own and especially you, you can make your own flowers you can make your own templates so I'm going to show you those things um, little by little so you can learn and do it yourself okay with the stuff you you have in this case I use the paper and uh, the paper scraps because um yeah i think those matches the colors of the album and also i don't have to buy those flowers okay so then uh another thing that i added to this album is this part up here it, it was a piece of paper and i just cut from the paper pad and this one was about two inches and then I measured the size right here and added one inch and then a score at half of an inch here to the side and from here half of an inch and then fold it back and put hot glue and then glue it up here so I have a pocket okay I have a pocket right here and I can put more tags or or cut out okay then I use this um, Martha Stewart edge punch that I have it's this one and then uh, this trim in the middle okay right here I put some cutouts like this one that comes in the paper collection and yeah I try to just sort them seeing what you can do and for example right here instead of buying magnets I use this one these paper clips they come in silver and it comes like a lot like maybe 20 or 30 and it's one dollar so you can just glue the paper all around and that's it you have an embellishment to put on your page so in this case for this opening I just put them together and then I made a closure see and this ribbon is so um, inexpensive it's a one roll for 50 cents so I use this one because it looks so delicate and it goes with the cardstock okay so then right here I have a tag and I put this one to pull the tag and 
and then more um, paper from the collection then nothing right here then <clears throat> this is a cutout from the paper collection so you can put a title or something and it holds the tag in here too okay then right here this is another cutout from the paper pad this one too and right here another one that i just glued so they can write something okay and again eyelet and this this um ribbon i want to give you a tip if you have a daiso nearby you can buy these eyelets they are like um silver and they look simple but when you put on uh, your tags it looks very nice so um these eyelets you can buy in a package for 150 and it comes like 100 i think so if you have a dice so just look for them the next time you visit the store okay so um i'm going to start now with a tutorial showing you how to make the pocket in this side and then i'm going to tell you how to make the pocket in the other side and the other part of the color and then we are going to finish with this one right here okay so <clears throat> uh, I'll be right back with the, um, with the supplies okay for this part up here we are going to begin with this one and I'm going to show you how okay this one is optional this depends on if you want to just mat up here uh, for the picture or you want to leave um, this corner you can add any any piece of paper and just um glue on this side and um, you can have like a, a room for another man that you can use both sides okay so <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to make this part up here and then um, I'm going to put um, foam tape at the back so you can have room for another tag or something at the back okay And this is how you're going to make that part. This one is eight, eight and a half by eleven. So we are going to start right here in the eight and a half. We are going to um, score in the half, so that will be um, at four and one quarter. So we are going to score at four and one quarter. Okay. Then. You are going to turn the paper in this way and you are going to score in the middle which is five and a half because this is uh, 11 so it's going to be a five and a half okay five and a half now <clears throat> what are you going to do next is that you're going to score one eight of an inch less than five and a half that will be um five and three eighths okay so this is five and a half right here and this is one eight of an inch less that will be five and three eighths okay that's what you're going to do now you are going to cut this piece out okay first you start up here all the way to the center up to here and then you are going to cut to the last line okay this line right here the second one and then this part so this one is going to be out you can use this for a tag and you just need these three okay let me cut it and show you how, how it looks okay now this is how it's going to look you took that part out and as you can see right here um, you have the first line and then the second line right second line right there so you're going to fold this one down and then you're going to make the folding 
to the first line see what happened when um, you just fold with one line it opens and doesn't close properly that's why you need this space right here because it's too much paper and it needs this one okay the space for the the rest of the paper and if you put if you put pictures it will be fine with all of these but what happened that you have you have this um can you see right here and you have this one left if you want you can cut one eighth of an inch to the other two pages okay just one eighth of an inch in these two you can open and cut one eighth of an inch out so it will be equal or you can add an embellishment right here and you won't see anything i don't need to cut this okay i'm going to show you how i made it and i'm going to put the paper and i'm going to add the foam tape at the back okay the tuck that i cut is at four by four so you need to cut at four at four and then at four so it's going to be a square then punch the corners and you can add a pull tab i'm going to show you how uh, mine is done okay just like this see this is four by four i i mean i round the corners and i added this um pull tab and i put paper on both sides and remember again that measure the size of your card and then take one quarter of an inch less when you cut your pattern paper and it will look like this okay now i'm going to show you how i embellish i mean we i put the paper on my uh the paper i show you and it's this one right here see this is how i disguise this part up here okay i'm going to cut the pattern paper Okay, the same size as this one, same size. And when I glue to this, um, the front cover, I put all the way to the edge. And then these three parts are fine. But what happened that when you close, see, you can see that one eighth of an inch from the, the cardstock that is behind, but you don't see the difference. And it looks like the first paper page it has the the right size around so it, I, I thought that was a good idea so and then at the back i cut it smaller so you can see when you open and then right here i put a different color so you can see how they are different pages and then you can see that it has room for pictures and everything and right here i put the um, foam tape okay and then um that will give me um space for my my tag which is four by four and i can put back and forth you cannot put too big because the page i mean the cover doesn't let you okay i'm gonna show you how this one's going to look See right here if you want to leave a space around you cannot make the tag too big you have to leave the right space okay and now for this part up here we need another eight and a half by eleven and we are going to make um, this pocket page that you open and you put down this one okay so and you have room for um, tags okay let me um, show you how for this part up here you are going to um, score in the middle of the eight and a half so that will be at four and one quarter then you're going to turn the paper and you are going to score at two and three quarters and eight and one quarter okay and this is how you're going to do 
Okay, you are going to fold this one in half. And after you fold in half, you are going to fold these two to the middle, to the center. Okay. See, just like this. Then you are going to cut only right here, okay, from from the bottom to the center in both sides right here. So you're going to cut just this part and try to cut a little bit behind the line, okay? Don't cut over the line. I don't know if you know what I mean. Just like this, see? Behind. And this one inside, okay? Inside the line. See? Behind the line. And this one before the line. So what are you going to do is when you fold this one right here, there is room for the folding part. See? Okay. And then you are going to fold this one up. Okay. And you are going to measure like about one inch and one quarter right here okay and then you're going to cut from there to the corner from there to the corner and you can use your um, your cutter if you want to make a straight line Okay, you can use a cutter right here. You just put over there and then cut that part and cut this part, okay? And then we are going to glue, we are going to glue just right here to the top and right here too, okay? Just right here to the top. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now this is how it's going to look. Um, <clears throat> I just covered on the back with the paper which is uh, one quarter of an inch less than this size and I just cut it in half and glue one side right here inside and the other one right here if you want you can do it before you glue this part to the top okay and then right here the same I cut the same um, paper to cover this part and then I measure one uh, inch and one quarter and then I cut in half then I measure from here to here um, then you will see if you have enough room and then you can cut up here at the bottom if you if you want to give the same dimension okay and so it looks like an envelope and you can add uh, something right here but remember to to cut in the middle okay um, if you want to put a title or any other thing I'm going to put a flower on top at uh, the back I put foam tape so it has room for the tag or tags that I want to put in there in this case this tag is going to be right here it's going to be right here in the middle because this one is like kind of thicker uh, it has paper in both sides and it doesn't open this part up here okay and this is how this one looks now for this part up here I just glue a flower and if you open the tag you will see that the flower is glue on one side only so you close and it looks like it's glue on both right and you can open and see the, the spaces for pictures and then you have room up here at the back for more tags and <clears throat> that's it for this part I'm gonna show you now how to do the flip flops okay I'm ready now for this part and as I told you before you had to 
uh, cut these three pieces in cardstock and then cover just one part because half of the half of an inch of the this side uh, it's going to be glue on the base so <clears throat> just to remind you this part up here is six and a half by five so <clears throat> six and a half by five you score at half of an inch fold it then you cover this part up here and this part up here okay and the last part that you will need is three of these and one of car i mean just a pattern paper and this one is six and one quarter and by four and three quarters and this is how we're going to put up here okay you open it and it's not necessary to mat up here because these flaps are going to cover almost everything so this is going to be the last one that you're going to put so we are going to begin with the first flap and you're going to line up with this um i don't know if you can see you're going to line up with this same paper right here okay and try to line up up here in the middle then you are going to glue the next one right here as i show you how to do these flaps before and then the last one and then this one is going to overlap this part up here so you cannot see and that's that will be the the end so it's going to look like this okay i'm going to glue them and i'm going to show you how it looks inside when you put them together okay as you can see this is done and this is how you glue um you glue this one right here you can overlap this one on top and make it closer to the to the to the folding part but uh don't, don't put too close okay leave at least one eighth of an inch if you want to put more uh flaps and you just put the other one i'm going to put the washi tape or maybe the same uh, paper right here in the middle and then for the last one you can cover with paper straight to the to the last um page that you attach okay so you can have a bigger mat and um you can put some decorations around you can put pull tabs so this is up to you and then you you are going to close this one you can add up here a, a mat a photo mat and it can be kind of a square like this one this is four by four and a half or you can put a long one if you want but not too not too long and this one is about five and a half but three and three quarters so you can put something like this um yeah you just have to see um how much paper you have and what decorations you you have maybe you can find a tag or a postcard or something De depends uh, of what you want to put on top but you will just glue one side right here you will glue one side and then you put a velcro or put a magnet to close right here okay and then when you open you can cover all this part with paper i cover this one but i need to cover this one too and embellish with pull tabs so i'm gonna show you what i use for the flowers okay and for this flower what i did is i punched two of these ones okay and one of these this is from recollections then i punch one of these small one so <clears throat> the first two you put them across and you have to um pull the the, um, the the tips like this so it's not too open or bulky it will have just a little bit of shape 
and then put the next one and the small one and then put a bra on top or may maybe a button or any other embellishment and then you have a nice flower with different layers okay and after you put them all together you can um, distress the edges with the um, distressing you want then um, for the small ones for the small ones right here I use four of these four of this one the very little ones and I have it like this thank you very much for watching my videos thank you for subscribing to my channel and for all your comments um, and for liking my tutorials um, God bless you everyone bye bye